Okay, we're gonna put a hold on the travel stuff for the rest of this video because I'm gonna do something that we've never done on a stream in life before. And that's gonna be an unboxing of a piece of super cool videography equipment that'll make my footage super smooth. So for the rest of this video, if you don't care about photography or videography, just skip the rest of this video because you're not gonna miss much. But if you do, if you like equipment, like electronics, all this kind of photography stuff, I have something that I've been waiting for for a long time. And this is the first inaugural, maybe first of many, I don't know, a stream in life unboxing. Have my scissors, have my box. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, it's so exciting, it's like Christmas morning. But it's not, it's like hot and humid in May. We have a box inside a box, how disappointing. This is the Zion Crane 2, and because I don't want to butcher the name for the rest of this video, I'm just going to call it a Crane 2 from now on. Zion? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's continue. Another box. When you order the crane too, it comes in this hard plastic case. So if you need to travel with it or you just don't need to use it for a while, just stick it in this thing and it protects it, as you can see. It's got some, it's got some heft to it. Okay, what is this contraption? This, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a gimbal. Your camera mounts on this plate here and you balance it in three axes. That's why it's called a three axis gimbal and it keeps your footage stable while you're on the move. What's in this box is a little auto focuser. So if you look at the side of the crane too, this focus wheel will connect to this. Well, it's inside this box. It's not the box. And that will focus the lens on the gimbal. So I don't even have to like turn the lens itself. I just turn this guy here. It has a little LED screen here with your battery life, a little joystick so you can move the gimbal all around and never take your hand, never take your thumb off that little piece right there so you maintain stability all the time. This guy comes with the Crane 2. It does not come with the Crane V2 or the Crane Plus as of the taping of this video. It does come with the Crane 2. This is a little tripod that will help with balancing and it just screws onto the bottom of the gimbal here and then you have a little tripod for your gimbal if you ever want to put it down or need like a timer or something to get a group shot. Inside this little pouch is cables for camera manufacturers. So there's one for Canon, there's one for Sony, and there's one additional one, honestly, it might be Panasonic, don't quote me on that, I'm not sure, but I'm obviously gonna use the Sony one. That is what enables you to control the focus and some of the settings on the camera from the gimbal through that connection. Three lithium batteries, they rate up to 18 hours of battery life as of the manufacturer, or as per the manufacturer and you stick them right in here in this little battery chamber. One of the reasons why I got the Crane 2 and not the Crane V2 or the Plus is this apparatus is integrated into the Crane. In, in those, this came apart, which means if you twist it in some weird ways, um, I've heard problems where people lose connection and the gimbal will just die because the batteries came disconnected, but this is all integrated. I'll never have to worry about that. So I went through the balancing of this thing, which takes a little bit of time. I'm not gonna show you, cause quite frankly, this is the first time I've used it. So you probably don't wanna learn from me anyway, but there's lots of YouTube videos about balancing your crane too. So if you're interested in that, search out some of those videos. There's all, like I said, there, there's all kinds. 
But another one of the reasons why I got this one is because this quick release plate, it comes right off. As you can see, the plate is on the camera. It comes right off of the Crane 2 gimbal. So I'm gonna put it on, we'll turn the gimbal on, and I'll show you some of its features. And if you look here on the side, you see these numbers and the balance will really depend on where this is in your in your quick release plate. I know it's right before zero because of the weight of my camera, so I can always just get it back to that point. And when I let go, oh, it's falling a little bit forward, so therefore I have to move it back a little bit. And that is better. And that's one of the main complaints I hear about gimbals is you always have to balance them. Like when you change lenses, when you put on a microphone or something, when anything changes with your camera, you have to rebalance it because the balance has to be exactly right on all three axes. And the weight's gonna be different when you do things to your camera. But in this configuration, this is the balance. And as you can see, it doesn't really wanna go anywhere, which is good because the gimbal is not turned on yet. So let's do that right now. Hold the power button for three seconds. Boom. We have, we have activity, folks. All right, now the first thing I notice when I'm holding this is it heavy. It really is. So using a gimbal is gonna be equal parts really cool, but also really painful in the fact that I gotta lug around this thing. So I may not always take it with me, but when I need it, this thing is gonna be super nice. So. This has basically two main modes, the, uh, the pan focus, which will follow your camera or follow the motion of your arm as you twist and you can control the speed in which this camera fo or in which the gimbal follows your movements. There's a little cell phone app. I have not tried that yet, but you can configure all those settings for you. So you can pan slower, pan faster, those kinds of things, but this is pan focus. We'll go to lock. Now lock is just one click of the mode button on the back. And now that camera, I could turn this all the way around. It doesn't matter. This camera is locked in one position. So I'll quite frankly, I'll probably use this mode quite a bit. Hit mode again, and then it goes back to pan focus. And there's a third mode I wanna tell you about, which is what I will probably also use quite a bit Let's do three clicks of mode. Wink. Aye. This is called selfie mode. And you have the pan focus where it'll follow your motion in selfie mode, as well as lock mode, another click. And it doesn't move. It'll just right here on my beautiful mug. And then back to pan focus, three shakes, and we're back to the regular mode. And now let's try out the joystick. Joystick up, joystick down. Nice, smooth movements with the camera. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. One thing I don't like about this gimbal is, look at this. And I knew about this going in, so this is not, not a surprise. This motor is right behind the LCD screen. So that might prevent me from getting good visibility on the back of the camera. Other models have, like the Ronin model has fixed this problem, but this, it's still it's still an issue with this particular gimbal. It's just something that I'm gonna get used to. I don't think it'll be a big deal. The other is, I mean, just the sheer size, but with the size, you get a lot of, you get a, a very, very stable camera movement. So it's pluses and minuses, gives and takes. I'm gonna start using this over the next couple days and I'm gonna show you in this video some of the befores and afters regarding walking with the camera, walking with this, running with the camera, running with this, and you can get to see uh, those videos back and forth. All right, we're outside. It's a relatively beautiful yet humid day. We're gonna go through some tests, both on the gimbal as well as off the gimbal. Things like selfie shots, jogging, panning around, tilting the gimbal over so we get the foot movement in a, on a just, you know, a general slow walk. See how all of those videos play out both on and off gimbal. So roll it. This is a selfie style walk without the gimbal. It is how I would normally do a walk. The image is image stabilized. So we're getting some help there. But this is just a regular walk. Just kind of doing my thing. 
waiting for the rain to come. And this is gimbal, selfie style. Nice, it should be nice and smooth. Yeah, I think this is gonna be good. But my arm is gonna get such a workout. All right, they have some swings here at the campground. By the way, I'm in selfie style on the gimbal. We're gonna see what we can do here. This might be interesting. A little gimbal test, a little movement gimbal test. <laughs> ah. You need to turn it around and do selfie style. Maybe I will. Is it in pan mode? You may want to try locking it because it's yeah. moving a bit. Two, one, go. <laughs> Selfie mode on the swing. I'm kind of, I don't want to drop this thing. I'm afraid <laughs> I'm going to drop it. This is mildly entertaining. <laughs> Ooh, wow, the humidity is bad. What am I going to use this gimbal for? Just taking the, our videos, I guess, to the next level to some degree, trying new things. It's going to be a change weight wise, but I can get those slow pans, those slider of movements, and getting low, getting. We're just basically trying new things with nice, slow, stable footage. So we're going to head back to the Airstream. Maybe I'll give you some closing thoughts. I'm just glad I don't have to hold it. You're what? I'm just glad I don't have to hold it. You're glad you don't have to hold it? Yeah, that would be heavy to hold all the time. But check out this footage. I oh know. my gosh, it's smooth. It is smooth, buttery smooth. We're about ready to take our last evening walk, and I'm about to give you some final thoughts on the first few hours of using the Crane 2. And by the way, if you're wondering, yes, I am using it right now. It's heavy. It's heavy. So that is definitely something I'm gonna have to get used to, the weight of this thing. I'm used to just having it very lightweight on my hip with that little holster, which I still love, by the way. And I'm still going to use that from time to time when I want to be lighter. But this sucker is heavy. But when we, when we really need smooth footage, when it's that important, when we're trying to produce something that's especially a professional or maybe for, for somebody else or just for our videos, I think I'm going to use it more than I'm not. In fact, right there, I just switched hands because the shoulder was getting a little bit tired. But again, it's that's something workout, right? that's something that I'll just get. Have some shoulders. That's something that I'll just get used to. Mm -hmm. And I got something else too. I'll talk about that in, an, in another video because this one's already getting long. It's on the camera right now, but I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you. Maybe they'll oh. be able to see it on Friday if it is sunny enough at the national park we're going to. National park. Okay, yeah. We haven't yeah. exactly told them where we are yet either. It has something to do with blurring water. Not that specifically, but it helps with that. Anyway, tell you about that later. <sighs> Crane 2, so far, so good. It was relatively easy to balance. <sighs> Heavy, but it works really, really, really well. Let us know what you think of this footage, and then you'll, like I said, hopefully the next video, 
we'll go and do an adventure and you can see if you notice a difference. That's right. You definitely will walking. I mean, that's like night and day, night, night 